Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale. This channel is a flippin' fiasco and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. This is a Monday morning coffee talk, Monday morning coffee talk. And my Monday morning coffee talks are where I like to talk about things that are going on in my reselling business, but primarily I like to update you on what has sold for me. This video is going to cover my sales in the first half of May, so May 1st through the 15th, 2021. But first, I do have a couple things I want to let you know that are going on. First, this Tuesday, so tomorrow, I will be over on Heroin Bob's channel for a little reseller interview. And I'm super excited that she asked me to be a part of her interview series. And that will be at 7 p.m. again over on Heroin Bob's channel. So I'm going to link her channel here. Then, as you know, Tuesday nights are always a special time because my good friend Kat, the nurse flipper, has her live show at 8 p.m. And this week, she has three special guests, Harry Tornado, Joey Bada Bing, and Drew Prof from Profit Monsters are going to be on her channel this week. So that is sure to be a great live show. And then next week, on June 1st, she has an amazing show planned. I will be on it, <laughs> along with Jocelyn from Crazy Lamp Lady and Misty from Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And it's Misty's birthday. So we have a little surprise planned for her and I'm super excited for June 1st to roll around. I've been waiting for a while. We're super excited. So those are some of the things going on here. Um, let's get down to sales, shall we? So for this first half of May, I did have a total of 20 sales. As a part-time reseller, I like to have at least one sale average per day. So I did achieve that goal. The breakout was 14 sales on eBay, three on Poshmark, and then three directly from YouTube viewers like you. So I wanna give a huge thank you to Samantha, Andrea, and Becky who all purchased from me during that time frame. So thank you ladies so much. I super duper appreciate your support. Those 20 sales made up for a grand total of about $465. Then minus shipping, fees, and cost of goods, I was left with a profit of approximately $240. So very happy with that profit for the first two weeks of May and let's see what sold. First on eBay, I sold a silver tone rhinestone necklace for $9.99 with free shipping. Because that probably only cost me about a dollar, I did still have about a $3 profit on that item. Then I sold another one of those Topican ashtray things for $7.99 with free shipping. Again, not a huge money maker, but I'm happy to see any sale come through on eBay to make eBay happy. <laughs> so a th about a $3 profit there. Then on Poshmark, I sold a Bob Mackie 100% silk boho top. It was beautiful. I loved it. I actually bought it to wear for myself, but it ended up that it was just a little bit too big. So I did turn around and sell that back on Poshmark for $18. I purchased it for about 11 and then after the Poshmark fee, I'm only left with about a $3 profit, but still better than it just sitting in my closet. Next on eBay, I sold the original log cabin jacket and vest book, sewing and quilting. <laughs> and it did still have patterns inside of it. I picked that up for about a dollar at a country store near me and a country thrift store. It sold for $18, um, no, I lied. It sold for $12.99. Buyer did pay shipping, so they were $20.13 all in, and I made about a $12 profit on that item. Then on eBay, I sold another item from my dollar estate lot. It was a 1959 exercise record album, Keep Fit, Be Happy with Bonnie Pruden. And it sold for $12.99 and the buyer did pay shipping. So I was left with about a $10 profit on that item. Next on eBay, I sold a pair of J. Crew as, um, tortoise earrings and they sold for $17.99. 
They came from a thread up jewelry box. So they cost me about $3.33. So I'm left with about a $10 profit. Then on eBay, I was very excited to see this sale come through. I had this brooch in a jewelry lot that I just thought was so beautiful. It did not have a name on it and it looked like somebody probably made it, but it just had the coolest um, Aurora Borealis shimmer beads on it with some pearls and it was just magnificent. So I decided to list it for $39.99 on eBay and with free shipping and somebody bought it for full price. I was super excited to see that sale come through and leaving me with about a $30 profit. Next on eBay, I sold a reference book of salt and pepper shakers and it sold for $17.99 with free shipping, but it did ship media mail. So I got about a seven, just under $7 profit on that item. On eBay, I sold an Alex and Ani Like a Daughter to Me bracelet for $5 plus shipping. So I had about a $4 profit. I sold on eBay again a Cold, Cold Water Creek blazer with like this Hawaiian print. And it sold for $10 plus shipping. Luckily, I had zero cost of goods because that was an item from my mother. So thank you, mom. And I'm left with about a $9 profit after shipping and fees. Then on eBay, another really nice sale came through for a Silpata necklace that was called Stormy Night. And it sold for $49 plus shipping. Again, because I got that in some kind of lot, I think that it was another thread. It was from thread up. So with the $3.33 cost of goods, I was left with a nice $41 profit on that item. Then on Poshmark, I sold a pair of earrings, which I had listed for a very long time, but they were brand new. They were Napier silver and gold hoops. I accepted an offer of $7, again, because they were listed for so long. So after fees and a small cost of goods, maybe a $3 profit on them. Then on eBay, and I believe this was a viewer who bought this from me on eBay, but she didn't say anything. But Terry, if you're watching, thank you for purchasing the Michael Kors wallet clutch for an older iPhone. It was a beautiful blue color and it sold for $7 plus shipping over on eBay, leaving me with about a $4 profit. Then on eBay, I sold another Funko Pop. This one was from Fantastic beasts it was crimes of grindelwald gellert grindelwald it's all foreign to me but the funko pop sold for nine dollars and 99 cents plus shipping that one only cost me about a dollar 67 off of a facebook marketplace purchase so i did have about an eight dollar profit on that item then one of my youtube subscribers purchased a pearl choker and it was either Spider-Man or it might have been Deadpool, a watch that came in a recent lot. And that left me with about a $6 profit. Thank you, Samantha. Then on Poshmark, I sold a pair of level 99 cream jeans. I have had these listed for a very, very long time. So I sent out an offer of $15, which was accepted. And I had about a $4.50 profit. And then Andrea Griffith, one of my viewers, bought a coach purse from me, the off-white or like bone-colored purse for $25. So I, after fees and she also paid shipping, but they do cost me $20. So I got a $5 profit on that item. Thank you, Andrea. On eBay, I sold a sterling silver uh, turquoise and coral heartline bear pendant and it was sterling silver genuine turquoise and coral i had that listed for 79 dollars, and it sold for full price i was super excited plus shipping and so after fees that one cost me about ten dollars um so after shipping and platform fees and i did have that one promoted i was still left with about a 59 dollars profit on YouTube, then one of my loyal subscribers and buyers, Be Becky, <laughs>
purchased five pieces of jewelry from me. After fees and cost of goods, it was probably about a profit of $10. So thank you so much, Becky. And the last sale on eBay was a super fast sale. I was really excited. I finally listed some of those brooches that I recently um, showed you guys in a video. And it was an enamel brooch with pink and red and white gold tone flowers. <laughs> and it sold for $10 plus shipping. After cost of goods, they were $5 a piece. And then all of the fees, I was left with about a $4.60 profit. So those are my sales for the week. I do hope that you appreciate hearing what has sold for me. I know that I, as a part-time reseller, really find that information valuable because I could thrift all day long and purchase things. But what I really want to know is what's selling. <laughs> so don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new content. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you next time.